of this video is now our trip to Santa Rosa Marine Sanctuary. We are now on a tricycle on our way to the Marine Sanctuary here in Santa Rosa. But we didn't hire the tricycles that's already been there waiting in queue because they're asking too much money imagine the tricycle is only 40 pesos to go to the marine sanctuary from the boat they're charging 200 for two people so we just go forward and we hire a tricycle here that's not part of their association so we are only paying the normal fees of 40 pesos per person so this is now the Santa Rosa town a bit because of the tropical depression but you know it's manageable because it don't have strong rains and strong winds just okay so this is the marketplace of Santa Rosa where you will find eateries and all sorts of food that they sell this is Barangay Santa Rosa Notice from the last time I was here, there are more houses. It's not so bad coming here now since the port in Mactan in Angkasil they have fixed the area so you can find a parking space and leave your car there while you go to Olango Island where before you just park in someone else's garden and you pay the person that owned the garden to have your car there for double the price now the actual government has built up a proper port. So this is also another place that you can visit here when you visit Cebu is Olango Island of Mactan. Because she was saying that the, you know the association of those um, overpricing motorcycles are very proud of their new motorcycles that they are still paying monthly that they have overpriced two or three times the price Especially if you are all foreigners, they'll be charging as much as 500 pesos for the trip. But yeah, the only problem is like here, we keep on stopping. But in a way, we take the opportunity to look at the places here. There's a nice place here, nice gardens. 
and I've noticed that there are gonna be uh, fiber connections around here soon because that's converge over there cables This is part of Mactan jurisdiction, so you can see the roads are quite good. So this is the only means of transport here in Santa Rosa is motorcycle or hailing a tricycle there is no taxis or anywhere unless you go by the Roro and bring your own vehicle so I'm just showing you the way to go to the places of interest but as public transport you just have to endure the tricycles or the hiring of the motorbikes that's their petrol station this is now Barangay Tungasan lighting system here now and the roads are good like this what we're riding on you can see that the place of Olango Island will soon be a progressive island so I want I'll be expecting all the properties here price wise land will be rising up I know subdivisions are already here the, there's a subdivision that's operating around here the Bahai Gibay units that they are offering and must be more now my favorite room hip room I mean roof style I'll always repair the hip room I believe it's stronger and I, I've seen since this is an island they're prone to be hit by typhoon look another hip rope style or what they call cuatro aguas so fresh water must be a problem but I've noticed there is a refilling station around so it's not gonna be a problem for drinking water you just buy it from the refilling station and the rest will be from a deep well since you're, you can dig your own deep well, you're an island. Must be ample water supply around here. Shops, cute houses, another hip rope style of housing, but moderated. And another thing is stainless steel railings and stainless steel gates because since you're near a silty water, you're prone to rusting so the less uh, exposed metals or metals is better off with stainless steel like I've noticed most of the gates around here are now into stainless steel
there's the cell tower. So cell phones, no problem with signals around here. annoying really because it's all the same constituents just different leader and why you have to repaint every time you change your administration you can see shops loads of people living in the area but like you said it's like a typical provincial life but you know it's easier to come go to the mainland Cebu City from here because like Olango 10 minutes less than 10 minutes and then Maktan and Cebu City transport our motorcycles tricycle motorcycles and pedicabs to the you know slums that we have in the uh, city Wow Sanctuary <laughs> Also, Maring. 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 So see the rusty places, rusty metal rather, because uh, that's why you're better off with you having stainless steel, because you're close to the seashore. So 
So this is Barangay Baring, Santa Rosa, Olambo Island. <laughs> so you can see they have solar lights as electric post lights here. <laughs> so we've been toured here to Barangay Baring, Barangay Tomason, or Santa Rosa. Very shaky. At doon na lang kami una sa Kuwadia Bird Sanctuary ya. So we'll stop for Petrol This is their main market where you find um, lots of products like fresh fruit products from Mactan Island. The Mactan Island is coming from Carbo for fruits and vegetables. So as you can see that they're not, since the island is into fishing, they don't have the fruits and vegetables available. The vegetables are maybe garden vegetables for some, for their own consumption, but for the market, they also get it from carbon market in the depot of all the vegetables from the different provinces. Now here is the Barangay Santa Rosa Barangay Hall.
fabulous quarry. So they have some houses that got rooms for rent. Like if you want to spend a day or two here in Santa Rosa and you don't want to go in hotels, you want to experience the island life of the locals, that's maybe the best option to take is the room for rent of some private houses. the side where it's raining Barangay San Vicente. That is the marine sanctuary there. I thought that's bird sanctuary. Say, yeah. You can just walk from the bird sanctuary to the arts, uh, marine sanctuary. Notice their chapels is like this is the in memory of someone. Kasagaton San Roque Tunga, Agaton Sagarino, and whatever another name. What's that in the Simbahan? San Vicente. San Vicente. Look at 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 look
Monik ini ada kan Santa Rosa, San Vicente. Santa Rosa mah tako. So Santa Rosa. So there's only one barangay in all the towns that we've been to, the small villages. San Vicente is the one that we've been touring around. There's only, as you said, you only have to put in the Santa Rosa Barangay because that's the known barangay here in Olango. So there's one that's called, the other one is Sabang. But the Santa Rosa is the biggest barangay here in Olango. I gotta have to change camera, run out of battery. So Kuya misunderstood what he's saying because it's not only Santa Rosa is the barangay here. There's loads of barangay, and I know Santa Rosa is the biggest one. And these are like what we've been to: Barangay Barin, Barangay Talima, Tangasan. Um, oh, but he, what he means is like every letters or anything that they wanna send, they always mention the. Santa Rosa Barangay to make sure that it reached there before it gets distributed to the other barangays. Because I was once hired by some administration before to watch over the election here in Santa Rosa. My husband didn't approve of it because um, you have to leave like 2 o'clock in the morning and be back another 2 o'clock. No sleep at all. And I just didn't bother to pursue that one as well because like old he was right. It's so risky election time here. This is the wildlife sanctuary. We are now still in Barangay San Vicente. Very, very far, low tide. This is now the Olongo Island Wild Sanctuary. Wildlife Sanctuary.